Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. He's the man Talkers Magazine says is one of the most important talk show hosts in America. We tell you over and over again that you're wonderful and you just don't get it. What's wrong with you? He's Jim Blassingame, our small business advocate. Or after the hour, thank you very much for hanging out with me, Mr. Wonderful here at your service. As always, and I'm very excited about having our good friend Lee Branham back on the show. Lee is a longtime member of our Brain Trust, and he's one of our top human resources experts. He's the guy who helps us understand why employees leave and why we are in, might be in jeopardy of losing key employees. In fact, he wrote the book called The Seven Hidden Reasons Why Employees Leave, as well as his other book, Re-Engage, and he's our good friend. Lee Branham, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Great to be back, Yeah. Always a pleasure. Lee's a longtime member of our Brain Trust, as I think I said. Lee, thanks again for hanging out with us. We're we're talking in the in the last visit that we had a few couple months ago. We talked about some of the seven reasons why employees leave, and you know, if you think about it, as we stand here in this current economic environment, you kind of get the feeling. Sometimes I think employers get the feeling that well, where are they going to go? Mm-hmm. Why would they leave me? I, I don't have to worry about these guys. I mean, I I feel like they're they, they're planted in the ground. You know, they're not going to leave. Where are they going to go? They're going to get another job. But you know what? One of the the, the, the way I think the, the reason I think that's a bad attitude is because there are people looking for good people, and they can't always find qualified people in the workforce, mm-hmm. in, in, in the job applicant uh, pool, I should say. But if they see your guy, your person doing what they want them to do for them, working for you, they'll poach them. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, so the, so you're not, you, you don't need to be sitting on your laurels thinking you're in good shape because you might not be. Well, I find that is a pervasive attitude of a lot of employers these days. And they're, they're, they're high-fiving each other about <laughs> that they, the war for talent is over. Right. As opposed to saying, well, wait a minute, what's more important here? Is it retaining employees? or having productive employees. And uh, the, the key term that a lot of people hear these days is employee engagement. And employee engagement means your employees are willing to give more discretionary effort. In mm-hmm. other words, that they could choose to give more effort if the conditions around them were right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, you know it, a lot depends on how much work ethic each individual employee has. And, you know, a lot of this involves the employee to keep themselves engaged. So it's not just it's not just keeping good people, yeah. but it's keeping them productive and 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 motivated and uh, uh, and and you know focused on their on their work and and trying right. to get better. Yeah, to put it uh, succinctly, keeping half productive employees is nothing to celebrate. Right. You know, so we need to be focused more on employee engagement and productivity than we do on. Retention. If, if all we're doing is getting what we call warm care retention, where you know you're keeping somebody that's uh, that's there physically, but isn't it putting their energy into doing a little bit more than what's expected, which is what we all need in mm-hmm. kind of an economy. Well, exactly, and 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 I, you know, I, I really think that uh, that that business owners should should look around them and. And, and I'll tell you, Lee. I think, I think that over the next twelve to twenty-four months, one that, that regardless of who wins the election, I do believe that that we're going to see some changes in the economy that are going to require business owners to to be more diligent and more proactive and more uh, pay more attention to their to their good to their employees, especially the key employees that they can't lose. Yes, it, it's inevitable. When when economies get better, uh, people have more choice, and if people are already seeing it. People, are, you know, every poll that I see that, that asks employees, "Are you considering making a move?" The percentage keep going up mm-hmm. month after month. You know, so I've seen yeah. surveys up to uh, fifty to sixty percent of employees are 
saying that they would make a move. They would like mm-hmm. to make a move in the coming year. Well, and I, I reminded people, Lee, in the, in the previous hour, that in, in, 19, in the beginning of this year, I predicted that, that regardless of who wins the election, that, that the economy will surge after the election mm-hmm. because if, if Obama gets reelected, business owners who may not have wanted that will still say, well, I, I'm not going to be held down for more years. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to live my life. And the people who like Romney will say they'll, they'll be excited and they'll take risks. So, and I, and I think that's not a partisan statement. That's just the way I think business people think. Mm-hmm. And so, regardless, I think that there's going to be some pressure put on the relationship between employers and employees from from a, from a, a, an engagement standpoint and from a retention standpoint over the next 12, 24 months. What do you think? Well, I think so. I mean, we saw it in spades in between 1995 and, yep. and the year 2000. Yep. You know, the war for talent was raging back Absolutely. then because the economy was good. Hold on to that thought, Lee. We're going to take a quick break. Right back with Lee Branham. I'm Jim Blassingham. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience, except as otherwise provided by copyright law. All other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.